Republican presidential candidate and Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker told reporters on Sunday that he would like to put a wall between us and Canada. But am I, why are we always talking about the southern border and building a fence there? We don't talk about a northern border. I, I where if this about is it. about if this is about securing the border from is, from potentially terrorists coming over. Well, Do we you want to build a wall north of the border. Some too? people have asked us about that in New Hampshire. They raised some very con uh, legitimate concerns, including some law enforcement folks that brought that up to me at one of our town hall meetings about a week and a half ago. So that is a legitimate issue for us to look at. That's a legitimate issue for us to look at. Whether or not we're going to put a border wall up north between us and Canada. Really? So Donald Trump wants to build a wall uh, in the southern, southern border. Scott Walker wants to build both a southern wall and is open to building a northern wall. What are we, gonna, what are we doing? Are we trying to wall ourselves in? That's a ridiculous idea. A southern border wall to me is a ridiculous idea. I'm not saying, oh, you know, just free passage and everybody, open borders, right? I'm not saying that. But I'm also saying maybe we should stop walling ourselves in because that actually doesn't solve the problem of immigration. It doesn't solve the problem of illegal immigration. It doesn't, doesn't solve problems that face our legal immigration system. Building walls doesn't work. Ask the Chinese. It doesn't ask, uh, ask East Germany. Oh, wait, it doesn't exist now. Because they tore down the fucking wall. You remember, uh, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Now, Mr. Walker, Mr. Trump, build that wall. What are we thinking? How crazy have we gotten to where we're even entertaining the idea of building a northern border wall? As if we have some sort of immigration crisis with Canada. Maybe I'm starting to think that maybe they're trying to keep us in. No, 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 you're not going anywhere. And we still have to tax you since we don't tax the multinational corporations. This is, it's, it's, this is insanity. This is absolute insanity. Now, I've got some facts for Scott Walker and for Donald Trump, too. Anybody who thinks that a southern border wall and that immigration with Mexico is this gigantic problem, it's a problem. Yes. Is it as big of a problem as they think? No. And let me go down and uh, give you some points on why. Now, this is from uh, Pew Research Center. Now, they looked at different factors related to immigration and they come up with these different points now for one the number of mexican immigrants living in the united states illegally has declined now we still have 11 million undocumented immigrants to which nobody really has a plan on what to do with them nobody has a realistic plan deport them all is not a realistic plan because nobody's explained how they're actually planning on doing that not really a plan. But despite that, 11 million people uh, that are undocumented immigrants in, here in America, the number of immigrants has actually declined. And according to this data, net, net migration from Mexico likely reached to zero in 2010. And since then, more Mexicans have actually left the United States than have arrived. So basically, like, land of opportunity where fuck this we're gone now that of course will make conservatives cheer okay i guess i mean part of the move is some states cracking down on this now the problem with that is that they already did this in several states and once they did this well crops were withering on the vine they thought Americans were going to rush in and do those jobs that these undocumented immigrants were doing for slave, labor, uh, slave wages, and essentially slave labor in the hot sun. They thought, oh, well, Americans will fill these jobs. No, they're not. And they didn't. They didn't fill those jobs. You know why? Because those jobs fucking sucked. So they chased them out of these states, 
And this is what happened. And they continue to chase immigrants out, undocumented immigrants. Now, there's another stat here. More non-Mexicans than Mexicans were apprehended at U.S. borders in 2014. Now, I thought that we were talking about we, how we need more border security. That's what you hear from Scott Walker. That's what you hear from Donald Trump. That's what you hear from pretty much every conservative. Oh, we need more border security. We need more border security. Now, it seems like we're doing a pretty good job. We're, we're, we're catching um, hundreds of thousands of people each year. And it turns out that we're actually catching more non-Mexicans than Mexicans at the border. That's actually a sharp drop from the peak of 1.6 million people apprehended in 2000. So once again, it's not Mexico sending over its people en masse, as Donald Trump likes to think. No, it's just people from other countries. Now, whether it be uh, Honduras, El Salvador, places that are generally very in a lot of trouble in very bad places to live whether it be from the drug war drug gangs etc etc now another stat deportations of mexican immigrants reached a record high in 2013 once again when we catch them we're sending them back we're not keeping them so that they can vote for democrats as a lot of republicans will say we're sending them back at record levels in fact, under Obama, he's deported more people than George W. Bush. Now, what's one of the real problems for immigration? Well, for Mexico especially, well, Mexican unauthorized immigrants are actually more likely than unauthorized immigrants to work in the construction industry and less likely to work in the service industry. So they work in construction a lot. In fact, there was a recent article where it was found that Donald Trump had used undocumented immigrants to work for his company to help build his hotels. So, hmm. In fact, 19% uh, worked in construction and 13% worked in a wide range of businesses like legal service, landscaping, and car washes. So, and finally, here's a, uh, another stat. Unauthorized immigrants from Mexico make up at least 75% of the total unauthorized immigrant population in 10 different states, including New Mexico, Arizona, Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, Kansas, Oregon, and Texas. Among these states, half saw a decline in the unauthorized immigrant population from 2009 to 2012. Among all states, California saw the largest decline in the number of unauthorized immigrants. And yet here they are, they're like, California, look at California with their sanctuary cities. They had the biggest decline in undocumented immigrants coming over from Mexico, even with the sanctuary cities. Isn't that interesting? A lot of this rhetoric against immigrants is not well thought out. It, it doesn't rely on facts. And that's the thing. Look, we do have an immigration problem. We have an illegal immigration problem. That is true. Is it as bad as what people say? No, it is not. And the most important part of this conversation continues to get left out. And that important part is what do we do to solve it? What do we do to fix immigration? Now, I have called for a comprehensive immigration reform package. That includes a pathway to citizenship. And what did they? What did the Republicans do in the recent attempts to get that passed? They shut it down. They filibustered it, despite the fact that it would actually give them increased border security. I don't think they're looking for solutions. I, what I think they are doing is that they're stoking fear of immigrants, Mexicans, just like we've had a long history of doing here in America of demonizing immigrants in order to get votes and in order to get the popular, the racist white vote. That's what I see happening here. They're not interested in solutions, but they are interested in explaining the problem so they can get more political power.